Hey everyone, so a lot of people have asked or requested for me to make a beginner's tutorial on how to make money early on in the game and what to do specifically. So I'm going to attempt to show you guys um, my basic setup for every city I make. And I'm also going to try to keep uh, my economy in a surplus because in my past videos I've been in the negative and early on in the game I usually am in the positive but somewhere down the road making more mines and just making more, de more depots and everything just makes it go into the negative so I'm going to show you how to keep a steady income early in the game at least. So this city already has water, power and an outflow pipe so it's all ready to go and all we really need is money. Um, Around 35,000 is what we want in order to build a mine and a trade depot right off the start. I'm going to be flashing from time to time just to represent that I'm fast forwarding time. And that way we can get things faster since cheetah speed is disabled. In between this jump I added a garbage dump and a little bit more to the power plant because we need to have an excess amount of power for whenever we add the mine. Once we add the mine, it's going to increase, uh, well, it's going to suck the power and the water out of your town, so you have to have excess or it's going to cause you problems. Let's take a look at the zones, and you can see that I only have a few of each, uh, residential, commercial, and industrial. And you want to keep your population as low as possible early in the game, that way you don't have to worry about the police stations, fire stations, clinics, all that good stuff. If we look at the resources available on this map, we can see that we have coal around here, like somewhere in the center. We have ore all around, and we also have some oil in this map. And that's exactly why I picked it, because I wanted to have all three resources available. And I think that's actually going to be the way to make the most money out of this game. But for this tutorial, we're going to focus on ore. And as you can see, I built roads around that ore mine right there. And that's what we're going to focus on. So let's take a look. We're going to pick the ore mine in the specialization view. And you want to set up your ore mine to get near that sweet spot, that dark spot. And it doesn't have to be right on top of it because you can put the modules right on top of it instead. Now once that's down, we also saved enough to buy a trade depot. So let's grab that depot and we want to put it near a highway, but apparently there's, there isn't any good spot because there's ore mines around the highway and I don't want to put it on top of that, but it looks like I'm not going to have much of a choice. So let's put it on top of this right here since there's not much or around that area and both of them are going to take a while to hire workers uh, I'd like to actually get more trucks and to expand the storage but we don't have enough for that so we're gonna have to wait a little bit yeah not enough yeah it's gonna take a while to get workers in both of these and enough money to expand the storage so I'm going to fast forward a little Now we actually do have money, so let's buy those storage lots. Add them to the trade depot. Now that we have the storage lots, we can actually set this to trade, or to export, as they call it. we are making a good 5,000 per 10 tons of ore. And the ore mine is actually working now, we're making about 1.5 tons. And it'll get higher as time goes by, of course. It also depends on how many modules you have attached to the ore mine. And once we have enough money, we're going to buy those and add them immediately. Flashing forward once more, we can check our ore mine and it's actually making a lot more in ore. And our trade depot is actually trading now. Well, it hasn't started trading, but it has enough to trade. Uh, if we click the ore map, we can actually see how much ore is available on the map uh, and not just the map obviously but the buildings and we can see where the trucks are coming from and oh look here comes a truck oh there goes the ore oh you got some money now woohoo alright so we know it's working we know that the trading is going well and there's no problems with the cars or the traffic or anything so far 
If we look at the city budget panel, we can see the recent transaction that just took place and it increased your profit by quite a bit. And hopefully we can get that up to 50k by the end of this video. Our next goal is to save up enough money, which is 16,000 to buy another module, add it to that ore mine, and see how much ore is being made by just two modules. Flashing forward once more, um, yeah, I'm getting invaded by aliens. So, uh, there's nothing I can do until this is over, so I guess just sit back and watch the destruction or the abduction or whatever you want to call it. Well, actually, while these aliens are here in my town, I want to explain a few things. Um, for instance, uh, you guys notice that I don't have that much residential zoned, or commercial or industrial, right? Well, you shouldn't zone any more than what I have in my video if you want to keep everything going smoothly. By adding ore mines to your city and trade depots, your population will increase naturally. And if you really want a higher population, you don't have to zone more, just increase the density of the streets. Like, the streets in my city right now are medium density, okay? So if you want a higher population, check the density map, and if the density is high enough in your residential areas, then just change the, the streets and the population will increase naturally as well. Alright, so we got the new module down. Cost us 16 grand, but we're good. We're good. It's gonna take a little while to notice the difference, but that's what we're gonna fast forward for just so you can see the difference, okay? Kinda have to wait to buy some new trucks as well, but we'll get there. Because of the new modules we added, the power is suffering, so we have to add more stuff to the power plant. And maybe to the water, I'm not sure, but we'll check. No, it looks like the water is doing good, so that's all we need. Uh, don't worry about the sewage for now. We'll just leave that alone for now. I'm actually going to add more to this power plant right now because whenever we add a new module to the ore mine it, we're going to need it anyway so I'd rather just do it now and get it over with. If we take a look at the ore mine now we can tell that it's actually making a good amount of ore and the trade depot isn't having any problems keeping up with it so let's flash forward a little bit and we'll add an extra module and see how it goes. It looks like we can actually hit the sweet spot with this module, so this is going to be really awesome. It's going to be nice. Alright, now our main problem is going to be that this mine is going to make so much resources that our trade depot is not going to be able to keep up with it. So we need trucks, and we need to save up for trucks. And we're going to have to fast forward a little bit, or we can just take a look and see how it progresses. Because, you know, if, if we don't have to buy trucks, then that's good because we save money. But let's take a look. Uh, no, this thing is going to get full before a truck will ever get to it, so we're definitely going to need more trucks, and we're going to have to fast forward so we can get enough money to do it. Alright, now we can afford the truck, so let's add a truck to the mine, and then we'll check the ore map and see the progress. Let's see if they're, they're actually getting out fast enough from the ore mine to the trade depots, and if the trade depots are actually getting full, then we're gonna have to add some storage lots to it. We may also have to buy some trucks on the trade depot, depending on how fast they're getting full. Oh, there go the trucks. Oh yeah, look at the money flow. Oh yeah. Oh, we got so lucky that that truck actually emptied out those 10 tons before the other 10 tons came. So we are definitely gonna have to expand the storage on this, um, storage depot because there is just no way it's going to be able to keep up with it. Alright, well in the meantime let's add some delivery trucks to this trade depot and let's see if it improves things. If not, we're definitely going to have to add storage slots, so here we go. Yeah, see, look, it already got full. Um, 
Let's flash a little bit forward and we should have enough to buy some lots for the trading. Oh, thankfully we just got paid for that ore payment, so we're good to go. We're gonna buy several lots and we'll be fine. Anyways guys, right after this, just keep expanding your ore mine until the modules are full and then extend a road from that mine to another area with ore and make more mines and that's all you have to keep that's all you have to do to keep going and making money. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll definitely keep making some more videos in the near future. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys.